Hi guys, this is Sadek from droidwin.com and in this video, we will show you how to route the Pixel Experience ROM based on any Android version and running on any Android device. As for this guide, I am using a OnePlus 70 which is running the latest ROM based on Android 13 but you could carry out these steps across any Android device which is running the Pixel Experience ROM based on any Android version. So let me show you, this is the Pixel Experience ROM on my OnePlus 70 and let me show you the root status for that you could download the root checker app from play store so open it and as of now as you could see sorry root access is not properly installed on this device so this means my phone is not rooted currently so we will not proceed ahead to root this rom so let's get started i have made a small checklist that we will be following in this video so as of now i have shown you the current root status next up we have to download the android sdk platform tool folder so download is from the link given in the description and then extract it anywhere on your PC. In my case, I have done the extraction in eDrive. You could extract it anywhere you want. Once that is done, your next course of action is to download the Magisk app. So for that, go to my link guide. I have given the link in the description. And then download the latest Magic version. At the time of recording, the latest version is 25.2. So click on this link and click on the download button. It will download the latest Magisk directly from the GitHub page. Apart from that, I will also give you a change log. If you want, you can go and have a Look at the change log of the Magisk version. Anyways, once the file has been downloaded, you have to move this file to the platform tools folder. In my case, I have done so. So you could see this is the latest Magisk version. Transfer it to the platform tools folder and also transfer one copy of this APK file to your device. In my case, I have already transferred it to my device. Internal storage, you could see. So make sure once you have downloaded the Magisk APK file, transfer one copy to the platform tools folder and the other copy to your phone. Once you have done both these things, your next course of action is to rename the Magisk APK to Magisk Zip. But you should only do so for the file that is in the platform tools folder. Leave the file on your device in the APK format itself. But the file in the platform tools folder should be changed to Zip. So just right click on it and rename the extension as Zip. It will now give you a prompt. So click on yes. And with this the extension has been changed to Zip as you could see. So once now that is done, your next course of action is to enable the USB debugging on your phone. Once you enable USB debugging, it will allow us to execute the ADB commands. So let me show you how this could be done. For that, go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. Once that is done, go to system, then go to developer options and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Once you do so, go to the platform tools folder then type in cmd in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch a command prompt window with the platform push directory. Now you need to type in the adb devices command and make sure that you get a serial id. As you could see I am getting a serial id. In case you do not get any id then disable the debugging and try again or you could tap on revoke usb debugging and then again connect to your phone to your pc and retry the steps. Along with that you could try using the usb 2.0 port instead of 3.0 port and try using a different USB cable. So try out these USB tweaks and make sure you get a serial ID after the ADB devices command. If that's well and good, then your next course of action is to boot your device to the pixel recovery. Now to boot to pixel experience recovery, there are two methods. The first one is via the command ADB reboot recovery. Just a minute, you could either use this command or you could also go to the settings menu on your device, then go to system, then go to buttons, go to press and hold power button and enable advanced restart. If this option is there on your phone, so enable the advanced restart, then long press the power button and after that you have to press the restart button and then select recovery or you could always use the ADB reboot recovery command as well. Both the methods will do. So let's now use the command method, type in this command and hit enter and your phone should now reboot to the pixel experience recovery. The process should only take a few seconds to reboot. Once that is done, let, we will now have to select the ADB side load mode from the pixel experience recovery. So the recovery is booted. Yes, now go to apply update and select apply from ADB. With this, you are now in the ADB side load mode. So let's verify the same. If you type in ADB devices now, you should get a side load keyword along with the serial ID. So as you could see, I'm now getting a side load keyword and serial ID. This means that the phone is in, in the ADB side load mode. So you will now have to flash the magic file using side load. For that, type in ADB side load followed by the exact name of the file. 
so just copy the complete name of this file and paste it here and make sure to type in the extension as well and the extension is zip we have already changed the extension to zip so make sure to type in zip and then hit enter the side loading will now begin and it will take only a few seconds as you could see on my phone as well the process has started you should always flash the matches using the adb side load method only as of now there is no other method to route the pixel experience rom so as you could see the process has started and the entire process will take only a few seconds to complete and one thing to note that when you are trying the adb side load method always remember that you could get a few outputs when the command has successfully executed you should get an output along the lines of as you could see the output should be this just a minute let me show you the exact output yes the exact output should be this but in some cases you could also get the following outputs this also signifies that the adb side row is successful so if you get any of the following outputs it means that the successful result do not see as you could see in my case the command has been successfully executed and i'm getting total x for so it means the process is successful on the, your phone as well you could see i've got a done message so if you get any of this output and any value over here it signifies that the process has been completed successfully so now that we have done this you could now reboot your phone back to the os for that go back and select reboot system now your device will now reboot to the os and it should only take a few seconds for booting up and as i as i have told you before any of the following output mean that the side load is successful so let's now wait for the side load to be completed the booting should only take a few seconds yes the device has started now so now you should see the magic app installed on your phone however if you could see in my case it's not installed so remember in the earlier stage we have transferred the magic app so let's now manually install it so open the files app on your phone then navigate to the magic app in magic apk file and it will now ask you to enable the install from unknown sources enable the toggle and then tap on update since the magic app has been installed in the backend via side load it's only giving us the option to update the app and not install because we have already have one instance of the app in the backend via the side load method so with this the magic app might have been installed as you could see the magic app is now there so launch it and you will now get a prompt the super user request but before that you might get an request additional setup so make sure you tap on ok and magic will now perform a few tweaks and it will restart your phone in 5 seconds as you could see the phone is now restarting you don't have to do anything during this time period and wait for the magic to carry out a start in the backend so in the meantime let's wait for the process to get completed again the booting time should not be more than 15 to 20 seconds because we have just flashed the magic and not any major task so the device will now reboot to the os this process has been carried out by magic itself we have not manually restarted the phone but magic has done so so now let's again unlock our phone and again launch the magic app and this time as you could see the magic has been installed successfully the latest version is there installed to re-verify this let's open the root checker app and you will now get tap on verify root and you will now get a magic prompt so tap on grant and as you could see my device is now rooted successfully congratulations and you can verify i am running the pixel rom based on android 13 and as you could see the phone has been rooted and the magic has been installed so guys this was all from this video on how you could do the pixel experience rom if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.